Mazin asks, how to make US TikTok account for non-US residents? To do this, you'll need to create an agency account, my friend. All right, agency accounts is gonna be the, the way to work around that because uh, for everybody else tuned in right now, if you don't know what why he's asking this question, it's because when, when you create a TikTok account, let's say if I lived in Germany, TikTok will only allow me to advertise in Germany. So the best thing that you can do if you want access to the US markets, if you want access to um, all the country, basically, you're gonna have to make an advertiser account. For that, you're gonna need to verify your business. You're gonna need to have like some sort of business documentation to let them know that um, that that's what, that you're qualified to, to do that, right? To open an advertiser's account or an uh, ad agency account, excuse me. Once you do that, you should be all set. All right. Uh, Sanders says, did you know you can use Facebook ads library for product research? Yes, that's actually a very good option. Uh, I would actually suggest that as well. You can use that for product research, but I wouldn't say it's the best creative research. All right. Um, the reason why is because yeah, it's gonna give you a lot of data as far as what's working, what people are advertising, but I think we're moving into a stage of organic content, right? And that's what another reason why TikTok blew up so fast. Short bite-sized content is kind of like dopamine hits to the brain, but it's not that much of a commitment for the person to engage in. But uh, another element is that it's organic, right? These videos, TikTok is willing to show your videos to anybody as long as the video is good or it's intriguing enough or it has a long watch time. They don't care about the little intricacies in between. I have another theory on that because the algorithms do work differently on, in different countries. But uh, for the most part, when it comes to finding winning products i would actually argue you don't want to find winning products anymore we're, we're past that stage you want to find winning content okay and, and that's the big thing going into 2023 I, uh make sure that you're finding content that's doing well not not so much about the product you know i could have a simple toothbrush if if i can get that toothbrush video somehow to get a hundred thousand views in 30 days and get a bunch of shares okay shares is a big aspect of engagement you want to get shares because the shares is going to be it's basically like word of mouth okay and if, if you guys know word of mouth marketing is the best it's the fastest way to scale a business right because every other marketing is linear you put x amount of dollars in you get a certain amount of dollars back but word of mouth is exponential, which is why affiliate marketing is big. You know, so the way you're gonna see exponential consistent growth is by implementing some sort of word of mouth, um, some sort of shareability in your videos. You get what I'm saying? So like when you when you go to create content, make content that other people are gonna wanna share with family members because that's what's gonna make it go viral right they share imagine this you go to tiktok and i know a lot of you guys do it for for those people who use tiktok um when you see something that's that's fascinating or whatever or intriguing funny whatever the first thing in mind is who do i know that that is gonna uh you know react to this video so you share the video with the friend now they're watching it and because it came from you they don't care whether the video has a hundred views or a million views. It came from somebody they know and trust. So from that point, it's more like, okay, they're more likely to engage. They're more likely to watch the video and leave a higher watch time. They're more likely to share that video again. Okay, so if there's one metric that you should pay attention to on TikTok when it comes to your content, it is the shares. Okay, I know people are going to say likes, view, views, comments, okay, but the one that carries the most weight is going to be the shares. All right.
Ayo says, uh, TikTok should be used only for business purposes as an entrepreneur. I 100% agree. 100% agree. Um, can I ask a favor from you guys, Money Mafia? Can I ask a favor? Please leave a like on the video. Appreciate you guys, man. I miss y'all. <laughs> uh, Brova says, you're right. That's exactly what people do. Hit share TikTok. For some reason, it's almost made for you to share stuff. Yes, that's how the app blew up so fast. It's because during, you know, the, the time period where when it was blowing up in 2020, and we all know what was going on in 2020, people were making organic content. It was cute. It was funny, this, this, and that. And the first thing they would do is share. And you, whenever they shared it, what would happen? You would see the watermark of the person's TikTok account and that logo on the video. This is a very planned attack. Okay, and I would I would actually if I if we go deeper into this topic, I would argue that TikTok is a TikTok is is using psychological warfare. It's using technological and psychological warfare to capture people's minds. I mean, they banned my account. Think about it. They banned my account. And what do I talk about? I talk about getting money. I talk about marketing. I'm not talking about anything crazy. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't gotten a legit reason. And the thing is, if I wanted to, I can actually go to TikTok and appeal. And I'm pretty sure I'd win. 100%. But I don't care to. Because I, it's more of a weight off of my shoulders. Thank you. Now I'm just going to put all that effort into YouTube. Into where it all started. So... Uh, you know, I would actually argue it, it's malicious for that reason. And that's why I use that word malicious, because they know exactly how users are responding emotionally to the videos. I mean, we could do it in a few. We could go on, on, on TikTok in a few seconds if y'all really want me to. The moment you open the app of the craziest video of the day the, the most viral video that's gotten the most shares it's going to be the first thing on your feed because they know it's going to keep you there for at least 30 60 seconds right and in that video i say you know and as i'm explaining this think of how you can use this into your marketing for your stores for your products etc because this is how the algorithm is working Okay, it's using a rainbow of emotions, a rainbow of emotions. And what I mean by that is the first video might be um, something shocking, right? And then the next video is going to be something sentimental where somebody's crying or explaining the story. And then the third video is going to be somebody dancing, happy, joyful. And then the fourth video is going to be, you know, something very dramatic. And then the fifth video is going to be laughter. So they hit you with a rainbow of emotion. So as you're sitting there consuming this, you, there's so many emotions going on subconsciously that, that just keeps you coming back. It's like, all right, what's going to be the next? And that endless scroll, not knowing what's coming next, is also, you know, that anticipation. All right, what's this video going to be about? It's very dramatic. And it's too much, um, it's very stimulating. It's very, very stimulating for, for some reason. Uh, let's see. Hey, no problem, man. You, sorry I'm late. Don't worry, man. As long as you made it. I miss you too, my guy. Are you still planning to keep using TikTok to advertise? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I'm going to um, continue to use TikTok ads and the ads manager. If you guys want tutorials on that, let me know. I'll, I'll definitely... Um, I'm definitely planning to do more live stuff. So we'll probably do live content. You know, I'll make, I have a few accounts. So I'll just use like one of my test accounts. We'll run some ads. Uh, we'll see how they perform over the course of certain days. Um, yeah, I'm still going to be using it. Because that's what, you know, as an entrepreneur, I know that that's where people's attention is at. I know that they, I can get an ROI over there. You know? So yeah, I'm still going to use it. And I recommend you use it too on top of Instagram and all the other platforms. 
Sanders says, what do you mean by organic content? Can you give an example? Organic meaning you're not you're not making it as an ad, right? When you make content for TikTok, you shouldn't make ads. You should make TikToks, which is why I'm explaining the whole psychology of how the platform works. Because when you make an ad, people on TikTok, they can dissect it right away. They know that it's not it's not like they'll know it's not. Um, How do I say it? They'll know it's not genuine, right? It's kind of like when you watch the ads of people on TV, uh, you know, with like pharmaceuticals and you get, they have these paid actors that says, oh yeah, I took this medicine and I feel my, my liver problems are all okay now. But you know that the person is a paid actor. It's kind of like, uh, right? You don't want to make an ad. It's not like Facebook. It's not like, um, you know, Instagram where you can go and you, you know, the first five seconds of the video, hook them, right? The, the next five seconds of the video, you want to have uh, something curious. And then the next five seconds, it's not so structured like that. The most viral videos for me, I have videos that done over a million. One video, my best performing video has done over 3.5 million views at this point of a simple product. And it, it was nothing that I could have anticipated right it was nothing i could have anticipated it's more so you got to make content on the fly you got to make it on the go and don't put too much thought into it just make sure that you're covering those basic things though the first five the first three seconds on tiktok make sure you hook them the next few um seconds you know explain the product gain their curiosity explain um the benefits of the product and then the last seconds you want to make sure you have a call to action so that's really my main that like if we take an overall look at at my um tiktok ads or content strategy when i say organic all i'm saying is make sure you hook them make sure you have fun in between right here because that's what the app is built for is optimized for people just doing random stuff and then have that call to action at the end that's it once you, once you do that, you win and do it over. Okay. You might have a really good video and it just, it won't take off because the, the, the TikTok platform won't see you as consistent. It only favors people who constantly open the app over and over. So one way you can game this is by making a video, make 30 videos, make 30 TikToks, and then just post them every day, post one every day. One, I would, I'm going to guarantee you five of those videos are going to get, you know, tens of thousands of views. Two of those videos are going to get a hundred thousand views or more. Okay. But you got to do 30 videos first. You got to make, um, you got to make TikToks. Don't make it so structured and so planned to where people can see it and say, ah, this is an ad. You want them to look at it as just a regular piece of content. That's what I mean by organic. right third eye says i never use tiktok good i would say you you live a very peaceful life hey bro before off the radar i had one one thirty minutes called we had to reschedule can we uh it says i'm pretty i'm pretty sure we spoke but if you want to book a call man hit the link in my in the description Hit the link in the description, all right? Uh, so the formula is hook, benefits, and CTA. Basically, yeah. We can get deeper into it, and I've, I've gotten deeper, you know. I've gotten deeper into um, the formulas. Like, I have certain formulas. For example, I'll give, a, I'll give away one of my TikTok formulas for you guys, all right? Hit a like on the video, please. I'll give a I'll give a formula to you guys. This one, this one always works. Because, like I said, the app gauges watch time. It gauges how much how long people have watched the video and how much they're engaging with the video, aka sharing the video. So try to incorporate elements that make the video shareable. But also, what you can do is this: there's one formula that goes like this. You can do 
um okay you can say three benefits of this product that'll be the hook right so let's say i'm selling let's say i'm selling this phone stand right here i'm gonna say the first three seconds of the video is gonna be here's three reasons why you need this product the name of the product right and then i'll get into it i'll do a countdown so i'm instead of saying one two three i'm gonna do three i'm gonna start from three and i'm gonna say um i'm gonna say this product can hold your phone right here right like just name out benefit number one but you want to rank the benefits from the least fascinating to the most fascinating that keeps them watching throughout the end of the video and because you started with three they know that okay wait what happened to two and, and one and then they'll see that you're doing a countdown right so that'll keep them engaged for the rest of the video so um you, you know that's one formula right there start with here's three reasons why you need this and then reason number three name benefit number two benefit number one if you want one you can get yours at www.thiswebsite.com that's it it don't got to be complicated these videos are 15 30 seconds you know <clears throat> so yeah that's one that that's generally going to get a lot of watch time and you just keep rinse and repeat this with multiple products you know and you'll definitely get that You'll definitely get those, those views. Been following for a while since you was living in Atlanta. Never signed up. Thought drop shipping was oversaturated. Nah, man. Look, it, it, look, man. Drop shipping is gonna be as long as the internet exists. Drop shipping is gonna be here and it's gonna work. Um, it's gonna be the best way for you to start with minimal cost. That's what I would suggest, right? If you if you're trying to start a business with minimal cost, yes, go with drop shipping. But ultimately, you want to just start drop shipping, and it turns it into a brand later. You feel me? Okay. Sandra says for show, sure. Jordan Williams. Make sure y'all filter the keywords on TikTok too. A lot of haters on there. Okay. That's a good idea. I would actually let the hate come in because because the the hate still counts as engagement, right? You know, so that's something that I kind of I kind of I sometimes I'll bait for some stuff like that too. Like people when you go and you see viral TikToks and you go into the comment section, you'll see that the the TikTok video itself has a certain theme. But then when you go to the comments, some people might talk about something very small that's happening in the background. And that would be the whole comment section. Right. For example, like let's say this was a we made a 30 second TikTok right now. You know, people would talk about how there's a, a glare on this this poster right here. That would be the whole comment section. Why is the glare so bright? And it would be ju just a bunch of comments like that. So knowing this knowing that people are naturally trolls try to you know give them something to troll it still counts as engagement uh zach is in the chat what's going on zach what's good mo zach is here how you doing brother zach is an og for you guys don't know um in money mafia man this guy's doing over 100k per month in france just a french market oh yeah i do want to make some announcements yeah um i'm gonna i'm starting the discord right now so the discord is absolutely free uh you know just a mastermind for people like you guys and zach you know everybody from beginners to pros just share some ideas on e-commerce in the the discord so I, the link for that is in the chat section check that out i'm gonna be engaging with y'all there as well Ernest says, when scaling, are you con are you consistently creating new campaigns? Have heard people saying the campaigns work better on the learning phase. Hmm. Campaigns work better in the learning phase. 
yeah so the reason why the, i see what you're saying the reason why the campaigns are perceived to be working better in the learning phase is because the content dies out a lot quicker on tiktok so it's not that the campaign is is working better it's that the content is fresh the content is newer so what i would suggest is once you find that content that's doing very very well refresh it recreate the same video upload the same video it don't matter once you find out what's working and what's winning remember i said out of the 30 days or the 30 days of content one of those videos are going to do over 100k in views you want to take that video that's doing over 100k or just take your best performing video and you want to remake every video like that if you know what's working just keep going with it just remake everything like that Okay. Uh, so Ernest, it's not really the campaigns um, working better. It's that the content is newer, and you know, TikTok runs through content because it's new. Five, ten second videos being uploaded every day by millions of people at once. So you, it's easy for your content to die. The CPMs will rise. That's what happens. Uh, Brova says. Would you use TikTok live for business? I see people, especially at night, going live. Yeah. Uh, so this is the thing. Um, this is the thing. Like TikTok live, I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't use just because the type of content. Like when I was seeing people on TikTok going live, I would see people doing just random stuff. Like. There was this one guy I would see, he's he's peeling an egg and trying to get the shell off the egg while still the egg maintaining its its shape is is weird. Um, you know, and then there's other people that like they do these challenges where they have a sign in the back that has a bunch of sound effects, right? And then, you know, it'll say one it'll be numbered one through ten, and each number is a sound effect, or each emoji is a sound effect. And then what they'll do is they'll lay down and say don't let me go to sleep so every time a user presses a certain or inserts a certain um number into the chat certain sounds will play and the person would just be it's just weird shit it's just weird and as a business owner i don't even want to be put on the same playing field as that you get what i'm saying like i'd rather come to youtube to do the I'd rather come to YouTube to do my lives where, you know, it's more educational based, you know, it's more serious. It's more, it's people who's, who's willing to sit down and watch a video for more than, for more than 60 seconds and learn something, you know, that's just me though. Uh, uh, Zach says, oh, good brother. Where have you been boss? I've been making some changes, man. As you can see, I'm in a new setup. Y'all I'm in a new setup. I, um, I'm going to talk about that in the next video. Okay, I'm going to be going live Wednesday too. So make sure, you know, you, you tap in, hit the like on this video so the, the algorithm can keep recommending my content for you guys. I'm a, I'm a, I got a lot of explaining to do, rightfully so. And I'm going to explain. Okay, I'll explain where I've been. But let's just say uh, things been good, man. Things been good. Um, Zach, I'm happy to hear. Uh, he says, I've had a crazy last two, three months, 400K and up. That's, bro, I already knew, man. Like, I already knew. Because once you get the concepts, and tell me if I'm wrong, Zach. Once you get the concepts, it's really hard to not succeed with dropshipping going forward. Because you know what drives people to take out their credit card and purchase from you. You know? But yeah, bro, congrats to you, man. Um, that's one of my top students right there. He's doing over 400K and up right now. This is, I love to hear that, bro. I love to hear that. I would love to do an um, a interview with you, you know, because I'm going to be doing these lives often. If you want to, you know, we can arrange something if you want to hop on. And then, you know, we just drop some tips for, for the people, you know, for the mafia, man. But make sure you guys... Hit the Discord up. I got a Discord chat going on right now. It's a new server. 
going to be sharing e-com tips, ideas, whatever. It's going to be a little mastermind for the Money Mafia. So join the Money Mafia chat absolutely free. And uh, yeah, man. Big congrats to you, Zach. Keep going, man. <laughs>